everyone, it's Craig from Unleashed Education here and welcome to this week's Editing Toolbox video. In these videos, Charlotte and I share a quick tip, trick or technique to help you improve your pet photography, shooting and editing skills and make your life a little bit easier. Today I thought I would go through some of the cropping tool overlays in Lightroom and in Photoshop. These are really useful tools to help you with cropping for composition and things like that. So I'm going to show you how to access those, how to change them and how to actually apply them as well. So let's get straight in. We won't waste any time. And I'm starting with this image here and I'll show you basically how to bring up the crop overlay and how to change it first. Then I'll show you some examples. So there are several ways to bring up the crop tool. You have the menu bar at the top where it says tools here and crop. So you can either click on that, that brings up your crop tool. The default is this overlay here with the rule of thirds. Now, what you'll see in tools there is also the shortcut here. So the shortcut for your crop tool is R. So you can just press R on your keyboard or you can just head over to the panel on the right hand side here and click on the crop tool itself. So that's how to access the tool. Then if you want to change the overlays, you just have to press O on your keyboard. So your shortcut to change them is O or again, you can go to tools, crop guide overlay here and you can choose which overlay you actually want to display. So this is a good explanation of what we have as options here, but I'll go through those now. This new overlay has just happened in the latest version of Lightroom and it is fifths. Then we have the diagonals here. Then we have the cross that goes through centering. We have triangles. We have the golden ratio. We have the golden spiral. We have some aspect ratio overlays here and we have the grid overlay and then we cycle back through to the rule of thirds. Those are the overlays. Now let's go for example to the golden spiral. If you want to change the orientation of this overlay, obviously if we apply this compositional rule to a certain image, our spiral is not necessarily going to always be in the bottom right. So we can hold down shift and then press O to change the orientation of the overlay. And then you can look at how this rule might apply to your image and if you can crop it or compose it in a way that applies to this rule. So that's basically how to use and apply the rules. I'll show you some actual examples now so you can see how these rules actually work. In my first image here, you can see that this is pretty much spot on the rule of thirds. I've placed the eyes of the dog on the top third line and I've placed the body line along the right third here. So this has basically divided the image into a grid of nine. And the aim with the rule of thirds being applied is that the important parts of the subject uh, intersect with these third lines or in these areas where the lines meet as well can be used really effectively. This next image I've actually applied the fifths overlay to. So as I said earlier, this is a new overlay and it works in a similar way to the rule of thirds where you place intersections or important parts of your composition on these lines here. You can actually apply multiple rules of composition to a single image a lot of the time. So for example, this kind of works as a compositional rule on this image with, with the diagonals. It almost works as triangle as well. The golden ratio works quite well here and the rule of thirds applies well here as well. So not necessarily just one rule is going to apply to each of your images. Okay, let's move on to the next example. This example, again, applies for the rule of thirds, but really the main element of composition that I have used in this one is the diagonals here. With the diagonals, you're placing your main part of your subject within this middle box. And here you can see I've put the eyes on these lines as well. So that just kind of really emphasizes the importance of 
the center of the subject here. So this can be used as another way of centering your subjects, but also you can use it to place important parts of your composition along these diagonal lines as well. Next up, we have centering here. So I'll cycle through to the next overlay and you'll see that this dog is bang on in the middle. It's going right down through the center of his nose through the middle of the composition. This can actually be quite a powerful and uh, calming, pleasing to the eye compositional rule to use. I know a lot of people are told not to use centering. Subject should never be in the center. That's some kind of photography 101 that you learn at photography school, but breaking the rules is never a bad thing and centering your, your subject can, can be a really strong compositional tool. This is the triangles. So if we bring up the overlay and press O again to cycle through, triangles basically is dividing the image into four and you're placing your important subjects so that they're in the bigger triangles that they balance. So this one works because the dog is held within this triangle and you've got this kind of, I think it's a lighthouse maybe, and this building here um, in this triangle and they balancing each other out really well. And then whatever ends up being in these outer triangles is pretty irrelevant really. They're not playing a major role in the image composition. Uh, again, you can use these lines to line up your subject as well. So that can be another way to use this compositional rule quite strongly. Um, okay, our next up is this one. So this also kind of works with triangles. Um, you might want to crop it slightly differently to really emphasize this triangle here, but you could make this work as a triangle um, composition. Otherwise, what I'm looking at here really is the golden ratio. So this is more like a refined rule of thirds tool, I guess, um, where this kind of central element here is your main focus of the image. So placing your subject around these central lines is going to lead to a stronger composition for you. Uh, I think that works really nicely with this shot of Ralph that he's kind of lined up within this space here. His face is there. Everything else around it kind of fits, but is less important, of course. So using this rule, this is where the attention goes. So this is really a golden spiral. So if we press O on the overlay again, I don't need to rotate it. You can kind of see that this kind of spiral goes around, it leads us and it curves around into the subjects and the eyes and the space between the dogs is kind of placed really well between the spiral here. A lot of these rules and particularly this one are based on kind of mathematics. The spiral is actually a shape that you see a lot in nature, but it's also based on the Fibonacci sequence. I won't get into all the mathematical details of that and bore you with those, but if you want to find out more about why this is such a pleasing compositional rule to use, look up the Fibonacci sequence um, and, and it gives you a good explanation of, of how this spiral works as a, as a very pleasing way to lead the viewer around an image. These last couple are not necessarily compositional rules. They're just tools that you can use to help you with your compositions. So we have the aspect ratio overlay here. So this is going to be an overlay that shows you if you're going to crop it to a four to five ratio, which I think is um, the same ratio as an eight by 10 print. Well, it would make sense because four and five is half of eight and 10. So yeah, so five by seven, two to three, those ratios are all just different sizes that you can use for printing and that kind of thing. So they just show you what you're going to lose on the composition here. And then on my final image, if we press O again, that just brings up the grid. This is, again, not really a compositional thing. It's just a really handy tool that you can use to rotate your image to make sure that it's straight, to make sure that you've got any horizons straight, that vertical lines are straight. Whatever you've got in the image, you can use the grid to kind of line things up. So quite useful there as well. Okay, so that's Lightroom. Let's have a quick look in Photoshop. Photoshop is very similar, but it doesn't have the same overlays. So if we click on the crop tool here and press enter, 
it's the same shortcut. So O will cycle through the crop overlays in Photoshop. Like I said, you don't have as many though. So we have the rule of thirds, you have the grid, you have the diagonals, the triangles, the golden ratio, the golden spiral, and that's it. Then we're back to the rule of thirds. And again, you can use those tools as cropping aids to help you with your composition when you're making crops in Photoshop. So that's it. I hope that that's helped you with the crop overlays and maybe giving you some pointers for compositional tools that you can use as well. I will see you again in my next editing toolbox very soon.